Today, I'm sharing tips and tricks for maintaining a clean and organized vehicle along with a few fun and useful gadgets for your car. A few cleaning supplies are kept in the driver's side door for easy access. This includes all-purpose cleaning wipes. These ones I found on the Grove and they fit perfectly in the cup holder. Wipes of any nature are a necessity in every vehicle. It takes 10 seconds to give the center console area a wipe down to remove all the grit and grime that lands there. Below the wipes is this super clean gel. This is great to use on technology as well, and it also makes for a great stocking stuffer. It gets all of the dust and dirt located in those hard to reach places that a regular rag or wipe would not be able to pick up. It also has a very nice citrusy clean smell to it, which is a nice touch. When I'm done using it, I pick any large pieces of dirt out of it and then put it back in the container. The last cleaning item kept in this door is a microfiber cloth. These are great for dusting. Whenever there is any downtime in the vehicle, whether it be pumping gas or waiting around in the bank drive through I try to dust and wipe the dash, steering wheel vents, and center console down. When finished, I just roll it back up and put it back in the door until I remember to swap it out with a clean one. Moving on to the center console, one of the most important items to keep handy and accessible in your vehicle is a life hammer. This is also a great stocking stuffer to give all of your friends and family members. It's an escape and rescue tool. The hammer is intended to break car windows in an emergency, and the seatbelt cutter on the other end is intended to, well, cut a seatbelt if need be. Gum is also kept here. I prefer the extra gum that comes in this little container. One, because it keeps gum from flying around everywhere, and two, because it comes in this adorable little container that can be repurposed for an unlimited number of uses. Hand sanitizer and pens are also kept in this little compartment along with a gas card. The bottom of the center console has a handful of items that I don't necessarily need every day. However, it is nice to keep them handy. First up are some individually packaged disposable face masks. This set is all snakeskin patterns and are fun to match with outfits. I'll link them in the description box below. Next to those masks is a small change purse, which I never need. However, it's nice to have a place to put any spare change that ends up in this vehicle. Three black mesh bags are also kept in the center console to help categorize the remaining items that are stored in here. The first bag has a handful of random first aid items, extra hand sanitizers, chapstick, and deposit slips it looks like. The next bag is filled with car candies aka where there's caramels. Yes, I'm 70. Who remembers their grandparents always having a stash of these in their car? The amount that I have is excessive though. The last bag stores technology related items which consists of charging, auxiliary cords, extra magnets for the phone holder, and a lock that we use when hauling stuff. I can probably declutter a few of these unused charging cords. These mesh bags have worked really well over the years. I considered switching to clear containers, however they're not flexible like the mesh bags are and they would be space restricting. The mesh ones can be manipulated a little and smushed to fit. The black mesh also hides all of the clutter. However, it is still easy to see what is in each one without having to open it. This car has a little compartment in the front located below the controls which stores a phone charger. And above that, approximately three pairs of sunglasses are all shoved into the Zonabril storage compartment located right above the mirror. The glove box is home to only a few items. The vehicle registration, insurance, and inspection information are all kept in the zippered pouch along with some spare cash it's all in one spot and it's easy to grab. The vehicle manual is also kept here like it is in most cars. I didn't realize I had these hand warmers in here and I'm really glad that I do. It can get pretty cold where we live and gloves sometimes don't cut it. These are mainly kept here for long run days and skiing and wouldn't be a bad thing to have should your car ever break down in the middle of winter. It's also important to keep a flashlight handy for emergencies. These are all the extremely important items that need to be accessible, so I try to keep only these items in this space. Below the glove box on the passenger side is a garbage can. Great name. There have been a handful of great vehicle trash receptacles that have piqued my interest. However, I wanted something that would be easy to hose off or throw in the dishwasher, and also something that would be large enough to hold water bottles. This one has clips on the bottom that slide underneath your floor mat to keep it in place. It also has a bag securement band, which will hold a liner in place. A grocery bag does fit perfectly in here. This is easily one of my favorite additions to the vehicle. Before I had this, the cup holders would be peppered with gum wrappers, old shopping lists, and other miscellaneous trash. 
Moving to the middle of the vehicle where the bench is located, we have the dog's seat belts. When the dogs travel with us, they are always buckled in. I am a bit of a helicopter dog mom and purchased these for all of our vehicles. They click right into the seatbelt receptacle just as a seatbelt would and the other end is fastened onto their harnesses. If your dog's window time is a little bit too close for comfort, these can adjust to a shorter length to prevent them from potentially jumping out the window to chase down a squirrel. These were a big game changer. They give us peace of mind knowing that they are unable to jump into the front seat while we are driving, fall off the seat if we suddenly break or make a sharp turn, jump out the window if ever tempted by a squirrel, or ever become projectiles in the event of an accident. Hanging off of the front seat headrest are these hooks. They seem to be made out of some sort of plastic material. They can be turned either way and are great for hanging your purse, groceries, umbrellas, and water bottles. I prefer to flip one around on the passenger side seat and hang my purse or bag off of it while driving to keep everything upright. In the trunk, I keep a car kit. I go into greater detail in a different video, which I will link below. However, to summarize, it is a black canvas bag that stores practical items that we might need when out and about. It is not an emergency car kit, but more so an oh crap, I need something kit. We do keep jumper cables, a jack, car starter, etc. elsewhere in the car. It is made up of two multi-purpose bins, a medium and a large, and they are used to create three separate sections within that canvas bag. The back of the bag has a blanket. This one is from L.L. Bean and it's really nice. It has a waterproof back to it, which makes it nice for picnics, sitting in the grass and watching game. And it makes for a great impromptu poncho should you get stuck in a rainstorm. It looks like some tissues were also tossed in there along with a first aid kit. I also started keeping a small overnight bag, which is just a pouch that sheets come in. It's for when I'm out visiting my sisters and don't feel like driving home late at night. It consists of clothes to sleep in along with a very pared down toiletries bag. I also keep a spare serving of dog food in the event I have one of the dogs with me. One of the multi-purpose organizer stores items for the dogs. Another zippered sheet pouch is used to store their seat cover and net. And then there is a little bag that has spare leashes and poop bags and then their collapsible water bowl. There is also always spare dog food and treats bagged up and kept in here as well. The last section has an umbrella and an ice scraper. The weather is always changing here. You never know if you're getting rain, sun, or snow. Keeping a towel in here is also a necessity with the dogs as well as a roll of paper towels. Bug spray, sunscreen, and some reusable bags are all tucked in the side as well. As a side note, I would love to know what you do to keep the fabric in the trunk of your vehicle clean. No matter how many times it gets vacuumed, it is always covered with dirt, sand, and dog hair. There we have it. Those are a few tips, tricks, ideas, and gadget recommendations for vehicle organization. I would love to know how you keep your vehicle organized and what products you recommend.